my name is David Garza. I'm a musician and I love playing awesome guitars. You got a five year old heart and a six year old brain. I speak kindergartenese and I stutter when I say, but I love you just the same. The thing about this particular model is that it's accessible, you know, for a working musician. It's solid. There's something about it, you know, the, the, it's not a particle kind of guitar. It's not like what I call a Frankenstein guitar, which is kind of a little this, a little that. The ebony, the mahogany, the spruce, these are all solid, solid pieces of wood, and, and you can feel that when you play it. The look of this particular guitar is, is like right up my alley because it's got those like Texas dirt, dark, sunset, dusky kind of tones that, that I like. On this guitar, one thing I love about the cutaway is it's not too severe and it's just a little more more fluid. And so again, maybe that maybe just the, the cut of the guitar kind of brings out that idea of you know looking for more just kind of intricate personal tone versus like just a straight kind of thing. It, it, the, the form and the design itself lends itself to the kind of what you would play on it. In the African wilds grows a family of trees with the branches so high and the leaves so green from the tiniest seed comes the loveliest breeze Tell me why, why, why not climb the shadows? Tell me why, why, why not set your soul free? Tell me why, why, why not waltz in the waterfall? Tell me why, why, why not strum the tree? Well, this song that I just played is something I just wrote. It made me think about trees basically where they all come from and, and how basically every time we pick up a guitar we're literally strumming a tree so I had that idea of why not why not strum a tree like why not go waltz in a waterfall or set your soul free so it's kind of challenging yourself to grow a little bit artistically and a little bit of whimsy to it I really believe that all musicians have a responsibility to the, the environment and to the planet because some people bring harmony, some people bring dissonance, some people bring volume, some people bring quiet, peace. To each musician is given a specific gift. My particular gift that I've been given is harmony. And so I've always feel, as a singer and as a strummer and as a musician, that if I can literally bring harmony to every environment I'm, I'm at, then I'm hopefully bringing healing tiny bit of, of the dissonance that's out there. You know, and dissonance has its place. Dissonance has its, you know, function. But for me, dissonance always, hopefully will lead to some type of harmony. Dissonance is a rest that takes us to the harmony. And playing a well-tuned guitar and, and a well, singing a well-versed song, hopefully is, is um, an environmental act.